With just a couple of months to go until the release of the second instalment of the Hobbit trilogy, the film's director has been honoured with this country's highest award. Sir Peter Jackson's been made a member of the Order of New Zealand, taking his part in a very exclusive group. Rebecca Edwards explains. He may be more at home behind the camera, but today Sir Peter Jackson's achievements once again had him in front of them. I don't know how actors do it, quite frankly. <laughs> At least they, in, in my case, they usually get, you know, 12 or 15 takes, so I have to get it right in one take, so... <laughs> Sir Peter Jackson receiving the country's highest honour for his contribution to our film industry. I don't really feel that different today than I did um, a long time ago when I was a kid in Pukurua Bay wanting to make movies, and uh, so I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can do it, and um, if I can be some sort of an example, then it's fantastic. Knighted in 2010, the man behind blockbusters like the Lord of the Rings trilogy and King Kong is now a member of the Order of New Zealand. And he's part of a very exclusive group. Ordinarily, the Order's confined to a membership of just 20 prominent people. The award-winning director taking up one of four additional places created to help celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee last year. Obviously, it's uh, something I'm going to have to look after. And... Uh, Make sure that my children knows where to find it. <laughs> but I do hope to hang on to it for quite a long time. Not much time for celebration today, though. The kid from Pukerua Bay rushing back to his cutting room. And we're just, it's just right in the thick of it at the moment. With plenty of work to be done before the second of his Hobbit films is released in December. Rebecca Edwards, One News.